Hi again everyone, uh, this next little video clip is going to be uh, about watching the uh, the WAMP server and uh, changing its error log file uh, from its default setup. Um, WAMP server is probably not a real good choice to do this, but there are times you might want to just to, to see something in particular. Um, we can see that WAMP's already running because we got our little icon here, it's green, so we don't need to start it again. Um, we can also go into the Apache and we can see that we have an error log and an access log file already. Now, these particular log files, uh, we can find out where they are by going to our HTTP config file. Okay, and the log files are stored here they are in C uh, WAMP logs Apache error log. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at this file first. Uh, first we'll get it the easy way. We'll go to Apache error log and you'll see that all the various stuff that kind of happens will appear in this error log. If I was to try to go to a page that doesn't exist, and there isn't anything called a blank page in HTM, you'll see that I'll get this uh, not found error. Now notice this, I won't see an update here, but if I come in and I take a look at that error file again, I will actually see that this file doesn't exist. So it does actually show us uh, the, the variety of things that we, we still need. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to actually change this to go to just new Apache error log. Okay, we're going to save our file. Then we're going to come up and restart our service. The first thing you'll notice is over here, this is the folder that it was in. This file didn't exist a second ago, and that's the same Apache file we were just looking at. If I double click on it, you'll see that the very last error in it, or one of the very last errors in it, should be the blank page one that uh, I had. Everything else just revolves around it being told to shut down where I reset the server. This one here, will have similar stuff except it'll be the startup process will appear here as just notices. So now if I go to just a regular page I get this if I check my log file nothing's changed. If however I'm over here and I go to my blank page I just refresh to make sure it's I'm not getting a cache. You'll see that I do indeed get the error that the, the blank page doesn't exist. Um, the one drawback to this is if I look over here, my Apache error log file in my little menu here is still going to be the original one. Uh, so there's a lot more setting up you'd need to do to uh, to get that to work the way you want it to work. Um, if you change where that log file points. So again, I'm going to point things back to where they were before. And I'm just going to remove that little block save my file, close it, come up, I'm going to restart my service and at this point this file here 
let's just refresh the page for us is now the uh, the proper hate uh, file again so let's just double check that we'll come in here to see what our error codes are it should just have the the shutdown portion of having everything exiting so we just see it didn't start up uh, and this one here will actually end with everything starting up so at this point we're good to go I'll talk to you guys soon bye for now